Under federal law enacted in 2009, pipe tobacco is taxed at a much lower rate than roll-your-own tobacco or factory-made cigarettes. Following the 2009 change in tax rates, many roll-your-own manufacturers shifted to pipe tobacco with minimal changes to the products, and consumers substituted pipe tobacco for use in roll-your-own cigarettes. Commercial roll-your-own machines are also growing in popularity as more customers are attempting to save money by using the machines to make roll-your-own cigarettes with pipe tobacco. This video shows a commercial roll-your-own machine located in a retail smoke shop. Customers choose their pipe tobacco in cigarette tubes with filters. The clerk shows the customer how to insert the box of cigarette tubes into the machine and hands the box of tubes to the customer to insert herself. A machine like this one takes about eight minutes to produce 200 cigarettes, the equivalent of a carton. Here the customer pours the pipe tobacco into the top of the machine. The clerk instructs the customer to push the start button on the screen. The machine begins by breaking up only the tobacco that is clumped and dispensing it. Now the customer adds the broken up tobacco back into the machine and the clerk instructs the customer to push the start button on the screen. The machine begins making cigarettes. The customer packs her carton of cigarettes from the machine. This carton costs the customer about $25, including federal and state excise taxes and fees, compared to a carton of premium cigarettes that can cost over $50. As manufacturers and customers switch to lower taxed pipe tobacco, GAO estimates a significant loss in potential revenue collection.